Hello, I'm Matthias Slate and welcome to our show, EU Deal After Brexit. Today I receive Anne-Fleur Leroy, a legal expert on the topic of airlines after Brexit. Hello, Anne-Fleur. Hello, Matthias. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm great, thank you. So tell me, Anne-Fleur, can the airlines still operate between the EU and the UK? Yes, I can. So the, EQ, uh, the UK and the EU uh, have granted uh, each other's uh, access uh, to their airlines. Those are known as uh, the third and the fourth freedom of the air. However, the fifth and the sixth freedom of the air, uh, known that the right to fly between two countries of the EU or inside the UK, uh, has been removed. But to continue uh, those routes, they will have to obtain an uh, operating license. Okay, and can you tell us more about those operating licenses, please? Yes, to obtain an operating license, you have to fulfill three conditions. So the first is that the company must have its main establishment in a member state of the union, like a registered office. Uh, the second uh, condition is that the airline must be more than 50% owned by EU nationals or mm -hmm. EU members. And the third condition is that the airline should be effectively uh, controlled by member states or member nationals. So this pro provision has quite shaken up uh, several British companies, um, especially low-cost uh, ones like Ryanair or um, EasyJet, uh, because they offer intra-European uh, Union uh, flights. So EasyJet has obtained its operating license in Austria in 2018. And for your Ryanair, it obtained uh, in the UK uh, its operating license in 2019. So for the moment, no company has decided to force uh, UK uh, shareholders to sell uh, their shares to European, but uh, it may be necessary in the future. I understand, and thank you for those clarifications. But what will then change for the passengers, the customers? So the protection of consumer rights is a thorny issue. Uh, in particular, rights uh, of passengers' compensation and care for delay or cancel flights. Uh, those are protected and, uh, under uh, European regulation. But uh, for the moment, with uh, the agri communautaire, uh, it, the regulation is still part of the UK law. But unless uh, it is amended, but for the moment, UK never indicated its intention uh, to, uh, to remove it. I understand. And what's your, what's your opinion on this subject then? Well, the aviation sectors uh, have been strongly impacted by the sanitary crisis, uh, with the drop of tourism, the cancellation of flights. So my question is, how will they manage, in addition to all regulatory uh, changes, uh, to to make the future. Thank you. So this has given me the willingness to travel more, but we can't right now. <laughs> thank you very much, Anne-Fleur. Thank you to you, Matthias. So thank you all, and you can still find our other videos on our website on the channel of the EU Deal After Brexit. Thank you.